Oh, it's bright. Jesus. Don't want the strawberry in it too? Yeah. That's how you gotta eat it. This is my oldest son, Cedric, the official taste tester. He'll be dropping in on us from time to time. Honest opinion, son. Not a cream cheese guy. Would you get this if you went out to a, a, a restaurant? Too sweet? Not sweet enough? No, but... But what? Still quality. Still I quality? I wouldn't get I wouldn't get cream cheese. Get out. Get but out. Th but this is very... Get good. out. Get out. I'm going for a second one. Okay. Settle down here. Okay. Settle down here. Okay. You wouldn't like cream cheese? I wouldn't like cream cheese. Okay. But this I would like. With the extra strawberry. Top piece of the sausage. Do do we get thumbs up? Do we get we get? For my liking, yeah, I would I would eat that. You eat that? You 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 order that? All right, it's your favorite chef, and we are back. We are in getting ready for this uh, stuffed French toast, stuffed strawberry and cream cheese French toast. Uh, we are at our mise en place station. Uh, that's just a fancy term for everything set in its place, but it's important to have that. If you've been following this channel, you know that we typically start here in the mise en place station so that we can have everything ready before we go over to our cooking table. So um, just as a reminder, if you have been enjoying what you've been seeing thus far, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button. We really wanna grow this channel. Um, but let's go ahead and get ready to jump into this uh, strawberry French toast. So I have brioche bread, um, thick slice, so that you know it, it can definitely hold up well to the um, uh, uh, French toast when, when we build it. We, we have our eggs for our custard. We have our half and half. Um, if you have milk or heavy cream, that's fine. Um, I stole my uh, son's cinnamon. I don't know, I wouldn't have bought this expensive cinnamon, but he does because he's a baker, he's a pastry chef. So I sold his cinnamon, he'll notice that when he sees this video. We have vanilla, we have powdered sugar, we have unsalted butter, brown sugar. We have uh, strawberries that have been, um, I had put sugar on them so they could uh, sweat a bit. So I have the juice from there. And we have some cream cheese, which is what we're gonna use is softened cream cheese. And we are going to spread that on our brioche bread and get ready to make our custard. So this is all the things that we need. Um, we don't really have to cut or measure or do anything. We have extra strawberries here for our garnish. And um, I just want you to meet me over at the cooking table so we can go ahead and get ready for um, strawberry stuffed French toast. Let's go. <laughs> And we are back at our cooking table. We are getting ready to jump into this stuffed French toast. Uh, we have everything here. We were at our mise en place station and we got all our things ready. So quickly, a couple different things of what we're going to do. Um, we have our softened cream cheese and I let this sit out. And what we're going to do is I also took some strawberries and I pre-sliced them. So I have the juice. Basically, I, I took some strawberries, I pre-sliced them and I put sugar on them and that will make them sweat a bit. So I'm gonna take the juice out of the strawberries and I'm going to mix that in with the cream cheese to sweeten it up a little bit. Um, I just think this is a smart idea to help to make the cream cheese more spreadable. And it also gives it a little bit of flavor. So we're gonna sweeten this uh, cream cheese up. And that's going to loosen up to be able to spread onto our brioche bread. While that is coming together and getting ready to spread, we're going to make our custard uh, for our French toast. So this is definitely able to be spread. It's flavored with the sugar and strawberry flavoring, and this will spread nicely. I can smell it already. So I'm gonna take my eggs, actually, and two eggs. You notice how I cracked that with one hand, you know what I'm saying? But uh, not trying to show off or nothing like that. Anyways, um, we have two eggs. We're going to take and we're going to put in half a cup of half and half. I'm only using half and half because that's what I have here. I had a function over the weekend and we did a coffee station. You can use milk. I would prefer to use whole milk. 
We're going to take the cinnamon that I stole from my son, the pastry chef. Uh, we're going to put a generous amount of cinnamon in. Uh, I'm going to say probably five shakes or quarter of a cup. This is a half a cup. I mean, excuse me, this is a quarter cup of brown sugar. I don't think we need that much. We're going to take a little bit of that, put that in. And we're also going to take vanilla. People always ask, um, should I get real vanilla? Should I get imitation vanilla? This is imitation. I'm only using it again because this is what I have. You know, when we do things here in our home and when we do things here for you guys, the intention is not for you to have to go out and buy a million things. The intention is for you to be able to utilize what you have and still make some tasty dishes. So we're going to use uh, imitation and this is going to be two teaspoons. Actually, tablespoon, excuse me, I'm sorry. And we're going to give that a whisk. I added brown sugar, so it's no need for me to add regular sugar. We also have that in the um, brioche bread. I'm excuse me, I'm sorry, we, always we already have the regular sugar in the strawberries. So we have the custard here. And we're just gonna give this a good whisk to make our custard, whipping up our eggs and cream, brown sugar, cinnamon, and vanilla. And that'll be our pairing for our French toast. So, we are then going to turn our pan on. We're gonna take some of this unsalted butter Put that in and you want your pan on because this will go so you want your pan on a medium heat so that while you're assembling we're going to take some of our cream cheese and we're going to spread now I had this bread sitting out which is actually pretty good because it's nice and crusty. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take and put some of these strawberries here, in here, just like that. And we're gonna put a little bit more cream cheese here. Now, because I'm not ready, I'm gonna turn my pan off. I'm gonna take and I'm gonna make a sandwich just like so. And that's what you have. So what I want you to do is stay tuned. We'll be right back. We're gonna make this other sandwich and then we'll get ready to uh, go ahead and cook this French toast. We'll be right back. And we are back. Thank you for tuning in yet again. Um, I'm putting on gloves only because this can get to be a little bit messy. We have assembled both of our sandwiches. Uh, so basically this is cream cheese, sweetened, sweetened strawberries in the middle. We have it on brioche bread. We're gonna get rid of these in our station. And we have our custard. We're gonna turn our pan on to get started. Fairly simple. I like French toast. I like it when I go out, uh, but if you can't get to the diner and you want to do something on a Saturday morning, it's pretty cool to be able to put this together. When they wake up, your family wakes up and they smell this cooking in the pan, they're going to be so happy. So I'm just taking the bread, I'm dipping it in the custard. We got a nice thick bread so it, uphold, it, it holds um, to what we're doing and we're going to put that in. And I'm gonna have this on a nice medium heat because not only do we want the bread or the French toast to cook, we also want the middle to get warmed as well. And then we can go ahead and put that into our oven. I have my oven going. I am going to pair this with some chicken sausage. You can use 
you know, whatever sausage you like or bacon or what have you. I think it just pairs well. I use a nice chicken sausage from Jones. Um, but what we're also going to do is we're also going to make a glaze for our French toast. And this is actually going, I see the butter starting to turn. So I'm going to adjust my temperature to go just a little bit lower. And go on the peak, kind of look and see what we got going on here. I'm moving this around to try and let it cook on all sides. Oh, nice, nice, nice color. Really, really nice. Now, I know that this may not be heated all the way through. So what we're going to do is once this is done um, and seared on both sides, we're going to go ahead and put it in the oven uh, on the same pan that I have this chicken sausage going on um, just so that it can heat all the way through. Uh, we're just going to wait for this to cook, but I tell you this is, oh man, it smells incredible. And because you don't want it to burn on the other side. So I'm going to turn my flame off. I am going to grab a sheet pan. Okay, I'm gonna grab a pizza pan because this is the quickest thing that I have. I should have had it all together, but I'm gonna take this, nice. And I have that nice buttery flavor all in the pan. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we're gonna put this in the oven with our chicken sausage. And while that's in the oven, which it'll go for about maybe five minutes or so just to heat through, we're going to take and we're going to make a glaze. Now you can do whatever glaze you want. I'm gonna do a vanilla glaze, but I'm also gonna add a little bit of flavor to it. Uh, so we have vanilla here. I'm gonna add a little bit of that to my powdered sugar. And just so you know that we are live and that we do, you know, sometimes uh, make mistakes. I don't know if I told you to add a little bit of vanilla to the custard. Um, so it's brown sugar, it's eggs, it's your milk, and it's a little bit of a vanilla, cinnamon, and brown sugar. I didn't add the vanilla, so I have to go back and check the video to see if I did. But in the event that I didn't, please don't hold that against me. I'm sure it's still going to be incredible. But uh, I'll make up for you because when we make this glaze here, we're going to add some bourbon uh, to our vanilla glaze. Now, um, you don't need a lot of liquid with powdered sugar because you want this to set up. So we're going to add just a cap full of bourbon. Okay, maybe just a little bit more. And that'll be nice flavoring. And then we are going to add just a tinge bit of cream to mix this up because it really becomes absorbent. But we want a nice flavor for our vanilla glaze. A lot of, a little bit of liquid goes a long way with this powdered sugar. So if I wanted to be more of a white color, I would have added a little less vanilla. But because I was not sure if I added vanilla into our custard mix, we are putting that into our glaze. And believe it or not, as we typically say here, we are rounding third base, getting ready to come home. Um, we will give this a taste. We'll have our um, French toast, which is in the oven for about five minutes, getting ready to come out. And we'll get ready to plate and assemble this. Um, so, and we'll have you right there, sitting down eating breakfast in just a minute. And we are back just in time. I just pulled these out of the oven. We're going to let these rest a minute. And while these are resting, we are going to slice our garnish up. We have our uh, glaze. 
Uh, I'm actually putting on gloves because these are ready to eat food. So we have our glaze. Um, hey, how are you, son? We have our, uh, come on inside here. Come on, come, come on to the studio, son. We have a special guest here. Again, this is Taste Tester. How are you, how are you? It's not good morning, it's good afternoon. I know you've been in school all day. Yeah. But uh, we are just finishing up here. We have our um, stuffed French toast. Uh, I want you to try it. It's stuffed with um, cream cheese. Oh, Lord Jesus, that's gonna be something new. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay. Can you use these special knives? No, you can wait just a second. Oh. And we are going to finish this dish. So, uh, now that we have our strawberries for garnish, we're going to take our glaze and we're going to pull our plate out that has our sausage, our chicken sausage in, which we have in the oven. This also is a nice little serving dish. Uh, kind of a rustic kind of a look, but we're gonna take our French toast and we're gonna slice that. Filled with cream cheese and strawberries. Oh, interesting. Here we go. And we're going to shingle that. Here. Shingle that. We have our sausages. We're going to have our fresh strawberries on top. And this is just kind of sort of how you want to garnish the plate because people eat with their eyes. We're going to put a few more strawberries on there. Now I did have a squirt bottle, but um, I don't have the top. Man, this test kitchen is ridiculous. But here we go. We're gonna sprinkle some of that Glaze on top. And then if you want to garnish with a little bit of syrup, we have some fresh maple syrup if you like. I don't think you do need it, but just in case you do, you can have a little sprinkle of that. Drizzle. And then we finish the dish. Uh, we don't have any, actually we do. We finish the dish with a little powdered sugar over the whole plate. And again, this is restaurant style quality, stuffed French toast with strawberries and cream cheese. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you saw, very simple, very easy. I ask that you just hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share with a friend. We really just wanna grow this channel. Thank you for tuning in, I don't take it for granted. Until next time, be well, have a good day.